hi guys welcome back this is Ali and in this video I'm going to share with you how to record your own Amazon sales in QuickBooks using the new payment dashboard now I know a lot of you guys use different software to record your Amazon payments in QuickBooks and every time you use the software you should pay 35 to 40 dollars and it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars every year but in this video I'm going to share with you how to record your own Amazon sales in QuickBooks by yourself without using any software which helps you to save up to $500 every year. I'm going to share with you this step-by-step -step process on how to create a journal entry on QuickBooks and just copy and paste your Amazon statement numbers on QuickBooks under just five minutes, which is super simple. But before I get it started, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's go. So first thing first, most of Amazon sellers get paid twice a month, which means most of us get two bi-weekly statements, which is located in payments under the reports menu once you're in the payments dashboard select your settlement period and as you can see amazon gives you all of your income and expenses the next step is to open your quickbooks and create a journal entry from the top left corner click on new and select your chart of accounts and enter your numbers so as you can see here we have our amazon statement on the right side and quickbooks journal entry on the left side now you want to select your current see on the top left and enter your journal date number on the right side now on the right side we have our product charges which is amazon product sales for amazon.ca we have our sales tax collected um, here is our shipping credit we have amazon transaction fees and refunded expenses now these were all credits but here we have our expenses or debits the first one is our refunded sales and if you click on it it will show you the details but just be careful here because you should enter according to the details and here we have our amazon product sales refund sales tax collected and shipping credit refunds the next expense or debit is our promo rebates um, amazon fba fees and lastly we have our checking account which matches the amazon payment into our bank account now if you are getting value please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you watch one of these videos over here because as i mentioned earlier there are tons of tips and tricks on Amazon FBA that you don't want to miss. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.